more than 1,300 miles of coastline from sea level rise is gaining traction in the legislature. In the last two weeks, the bill has steadily passed House and Senate committees and is soon expected to be on the chamber floor. State Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders joins us live tonight and Forrest, the bill almost advanced again today. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Still has two more stops in the House, but it very nearly made it to the Senate floor today, and that's because the Appropriations Committee, they just ran out of time, didn't get a chance to vote on it. They'll have to come back and do that again. Even so, there's still a lot of momentum behind this bill. Across the state, images like this aren't hard to find. King tide, sunny day flooding, whatever you want to call it, and indicator sea levels are rising, threatening homes and infrastructure. Water in places and at levels that never used to happen. That's Aliki Moncrief, head of Florida Conservation Voters. The group's been trying to get lawmakers to focus on environmental issues like sea level rise for years. It's not lost on anyone living here that we are on the front lines of climate impacts. But now it seems the Capitol is listening, fast tracking Senate Bill 7016. If approved, it would give the state's resilience officer hired last year, an actual office of resiliency, and create a sea level rise task force. Its job, figure out what kind of impact the state will experience in coming decades. The data then used to better mold policy and infrastructure. We really had no official estimate. Senator Lee chairs the committee that created the bill. He's pleased with its progress. Unanimous approval from all its House and Senate committees to date. Frankly, I was surprised we got here this quick. It, uh, we're, you know, we're only in week two. While the measure isn't facing much opposition, it does have critics. Moncrief, one of them, worried the steps the bill is taking aren't big enough, wanting not just an analysis of climate change, but ways to fix it. A little bit more um, skin on the bones, or meat on the bones, I guess as they say. For now, Senator Lee doesn't really have any plans to amend his bill and add some of that meat that the critics are talking about. He did warn, however, that moving too fast on some of these issues can create shockwaves in the economy, so that's something to look out for. That's the latest here. We'll send it back to you at the desk.